Hello everyone, it's me once again. It's Friday. Hope you guys are excited about the weekend now. Many of you are already talking about this. So Spiro has released a new product called RVR. Some like to pronounce it as Rover for some reason, but um, this is quite an interesting robot. Um, I don't actually believe it's a robot, but anyhow, it has already reached the goal within the first day of few hours. When I saw the email, when I woke up and I got gone to the link of the Kickstarter, it has already reached it. So that's how popular this product is. So I'm gonna show you the video and then show you my reaction to it. And also I'll show you a very interesting twist in the end. So that's coming up. So here it goes. Welcome to LJP channel. So out of all the videos that I saw from YouTube regards to um, Spiro RVR, I believe CNET has nailed it. It's the most simplified and most accurate way. So I'm going to play this video. So here it goes. So it's a robot platform with nothing on it. Become a much more advanced robot, maybe something that feels like a home robot that you could program. Maybe you want something like Spiro Rover. Spiro's made a lot of robot balls and toys, and maybe some Spider-Man, R2D2. Right. The Rover is we all know. I got one here. A robot kit that a developer would use, and the Rover is going to be hitting in the fall for probably around two forty nine, and there's a Kickstarter campaign for it now. It is like in a little RC Rover, and you can see here. Right. So I'm going to stop you there. Basically, what it is, it's a robot, but I would say a platform wheels on it, very flexible. It will actually move around the obstacles and so on. That's all fine. But you see there's all these holes here. So you can put in those wires in to connect Raspberry Pi, or any additional robotic components. And this is why this suddenly becomes uh, very handy. So you should consider this as a main board of the, of the um, you know, for main board of a computer for robotics, this will be a main board. So let's get on with the video. It holds uh, 10 pounds to move about 8 miles an hour, and it can connect eight miles. Very not good. just with Spiro's programming apps and EDU, but it can connect with Raspberry Pi. So there you go. So you can connect the Raspberry Pi and many other sensors and customize it. And this is why it's very, very useful to have, you see. And Spiro has nailed it. They have done a brilliant job. And the thing about having a Raspberry Pi those who are not into drone technology and so on, this having a Raspberry Pi or not is a game changer. You can add many other accessories and make it extremely clever. Coding, etc. Well, it's just limitless. Anyway, so let's get on with it. Another coding kits that you want to attach them to the top and connect them with a serial port. That could there you go. You That's a sensor, I think. The rotator sensor is it? Serial toys can't do. And if you've been following the Spiro spin-off Misty Robotics, which is a home robot that is a, a much more expensive, higher-end device made for robotic programmers. Well, this is kind of an in-between. Another cool thing on the rover is this color sensor here. This is meant to sense... Right, so let's stop you there. So basically, I don't understand the Spiro's logic. Well, I think they're trying to make this robot unique in their own way. They got this color sensor. Uh, I don't know whether you remember this Spiro was selling these ring kind of thing. This is a color reader, so you get programmers to make beats and so on. I don't really get that, but they want to make it Spiro-ish robot platform, so that's what it's all about. Colors and transmit them very fast over Bluetooth. What do you do with that? Well, Spiro acquired this company called well, Spectrums. I got to look at these uh, color playing rings that turn color into music. Pretty cool, and the idea that tech was moved into here. Spiro is going to have. I don't understand that one. Cards you could lay on the ground that when the rover rolls over them, reads them and interprets them as different actions. You can maybe even build coding. Different actions, okay. Own, use it to build boundaries for it, so it's another way to interact with this that's very tactile and color based. I don't see that road, growing. Spiro but... wants to build custom toppers for this in addition to Raspberry Pi kits that could be things like Wi Fi cameras. And other things you can do. Absolutely. Build a robot arm That's this. brilliant. You can just run around with it and use it as a crazy fast robot rover in your house. So this is still a prototype, and the app that it's using is not the final version. It has a but cute face on it. Where toys and programming robots for kids in schools could meet more advanced robotics down the road. Hey, thanks for watching. What do you think about it? Do you? Pro so that's pretty much it. So basically, what I'm trying to get at is this, right? So we've got a basic robot platform with wheels on it. That's how I like to summarize it. 
um, Spiro has done it very cleverly so that you will end up buying other components and so on. But not only that, you could add your own accessories on it. So if we start with Raspberry Pi, that will suddenly make it more of a computer-like intelligence, should I say, of a robot. And then you add bits on it. So you could add the arms, you could add head. And then suddenly I realize you could actually add Pico, the robot that I actually made uh, a while ago for a Kickstarter project. Pico has not reached the goal yet, but suddenly if you have, Victor is making a sound. Okay, so Pico attached with the Raspberry Pi because Pico functions, what I understand about is you need to connect your PC to a Pico to be able to function all the codings and etc. So suddenly you make Pico more independent because you're attached to a Raspberry Pi. Raspberry Pi, those who don't know, is a computer, a simplified computer, and then you can add the arms and etc. Suddenly you have an incredibly well expressed because Pico, I believe, is, I looked around in the robot markets available. There's no robot that has a better facial expression as much as Pico does with all the various voice and options and etc. So if you combine all these together, suddenly you, become, you actually can build a very interesting customized robot. Um, if you're into drone technology, I'm pretty sure you know what I'm talking about. You know the Microsoft um, Xbox sensor as well. They actually come as a separate uh, accessories. A lot of robot drone um, builders, they use that for 3D sensing, etc. You could attach that. You could also attach the GeoSlam, which is a 360 degree uh, scanner so that you can map the robot itself, can ma map around and avoid obstacles. It, there's a lot of different accessories that you could add, but I just thought like it's a shame that people are not showing much of an interest on the Pico robot itself. We need to make sure uh, we achieve the Pico actually reach its goal. Um, so if you imagine that attached with a Raspberry Pi with a um, Spiro RVR, a rover, this chap likes to express it, we have a Pico, independent Pico with the wheels on. Well, in fact, I actually. Um, contacted Obot uh, Twitter account uh, to see what their thoughts are whether Pico robot itself could be connected to uh, Spiro RVR they immediately came back saying listen this sounds very interesting yes we can do it so um, it's certainly gonna happen so I have a proof also statement in some way uh, response by uh, Obot saying that this can be done Spiro itself have actually achieved the goal on their first day when I woke up like in the morning when I saw it on the day when I received uh, the Kickstarter email, they have already uh, achieved their goal. So don't worry about it, this is gonna come out. But we need to support Pico's project, uh, Obot's uh, project on Pico, uh, make sure it happens. Suddenly we're gonna have a very interesting robot coming in that are not that's not gonna be available. Probably someone will actually build it for you in a separate company, but customized wise, it's gonna be the, one of the most advanced robot that I can see and this is something I wanted to recommend to you, you guys and let's work together let's build this robotic community together it's an exciting time coming um, and uh, I just thought I would give a heads up not only for the Spiro RVR but also Pico robot that needs to happen so please help us or help robot to actually be able to build that really clever well expressed robot so let's Join the party and see how it goes. So thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and all the best. Bye-bye.